Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is how to split 200 length character variable in 10 variables having length of 20 each. This topic is more of an interview question than real time application. Now I would like to show something where you can understand this whole verbo statement in a simpler way. Here we have a character variable which has a length of 30. So the target is to split in 10 variables but the length of each should have 3. The reason why I have taken a 30 character length variable and split it into 10 variables with length of 3 instead of the problem statement defined here is to keep it simple. If I had 200 length it will be longer and then everything will be much much longer and it is not easy to show you here. So the idea is same. To sum it up the task is to create 10 variables with equal length from a single long variable. Now let us look into the topics which we are going to cover. In this presentation I will be covering three topics at a very basic level. The first one is do loop, second one is sub str function, third one is proc transpose. By using these three concepts we are going to solve the problem which we have stated earlier. Now let us look into the first one which is do loop. In this presentation we are going to use do loop only for generating numbers and our discussion will also will be limited or restricted to generating numbers by do loop. The syntax of simple do loop is pretty straightforward. It starts with do and here you have index variable equal to start to end by increment and then this do loop ends with an end statement. Now let us try to understand this better using an example. Here we are doing our do loop which starts with keyword do var1 this is our variable or index variable here equal to 1 to 10 output end. And how this works let us see in detail. So first the loop starts from 1 and it outputs and that is what you can see here. Then it goes to 2 then 3 till the 10 it outputs all the numbers here and you can see the numbers here. Once it reaches the 10 it will go and end the do loop. So we are generating numbers here and also whenever we don't mention anything after 1 to 10 which means 1 to 10 by 1 that is we are incrementing by 1. Now let us go and understand it little bit deeper by incrementing by a larger number. So here we are doing another do loop where we are saying do var1 equal to 0 to 30 by 3. Again this will be very similar to what we have seen earlier but the increment is 3 this time. So when it starts with 0 to 30 by 3 it starts with 0 and we are incrementing 3 and then it comes to 6 and finally it comes to 30 and there are total 11 rows. So it is starting from 0 to 30 and now let us look into another scenario which is little bit more interesting and different than what we have seen. Here we are again doing our do loop and doing output and then we are ending but here we are doing 1 to 30 by 3. And then when we are doing 1 to 30 by 3 it starts with 1 and we are incrementing by 3 every time and if you see the last row it is 28. So it will not be able to add another 3 to go to 31 because 30 is the limit. So one thing you need to remember is whenever we have 1 to any number by an increment it cannot cross the number which is given in here. Here I would like you to focus on two things. The first thing is here we are creating 10 observations and the maximum sequential number is 28 which is less than 30 here. 
Now let us look into sub str function. Sub str function takes three arguments. The first argument is variable. Second argument is starting point. Third argument is length we want. Now let us try to understand this through an example. Here in our data step we are creating a variable a and then we are creating two more variables using sub str function. Now let us look into each one of them to better understand sub str function. Here we are saying sub 1 equal to sub str a comma 1 comma 3. So a is our variable, 1 is our starting point, 3 is the length we want. So in the way this variable we are starting from one position and the length we want is 3. So a b c we get a b c as our result. Sub 2 we are again doing very similar thing instead we are telling our starting point as 4 that is d in here and the length we want is 3. So it extracts from d and it goes till f that is d e f. So sub str function helps us to extract a part of string by giving a starting point and the length we want. Now let us look into proc transpose. Here I am creating a data set and this data set name is data have. Our data set looks something like this and this is a long table. Now what we want to do is we want to transpose our table and make it a wide table. So how can we do this? We can simply do this by using proc transpose and we need to mention the data which we want to transpose and also we need to give out equal to want to have a new data set with our transposed values and we need to mention the variable which we want to transpose by giving var and giving the name of the column which we want to transpose. This simply transposes data like this. And also if you look into this there are a couple of things to observe. It gives a new column which, tell, which is underscore name underscore and also if you see the transposed columns have name call1, call2, call3. Now if you don't want underscore name underscore simply what we can do is we can use drop equal to underscore name underscore and also instead of call1, call2, call3 if you want a different prefix all we need to do is we need to mention prefix equal to var and this changes the column names to var1, var2, var3. Whenever you mention prefix equal to something all it does is it takes that value and adds 1, 2, 3 instead of call 1, 2, 3 that is what it is going to do. Now let us look into the final slides where we are going to discuss how to solve our problem. In our data set here we have variable a which is a long string with the length of 30. Now what we have to do is we have to start at position 1 and we have to take till third position that is length of 3 from a to c. Again then we have to start from 4 and we have to go till 6. So we have to continuously do it till 28 and then we have to do 3 more of length. So how can we do this? So we need to do two things. The first is we need to use a do loop and also we need to use substring. Now let us get into little bit more details to understand this. So first we are starting with 2j equal to 1 to 30 by 3 and then we are saying what's equal to sub str a comma j comma 3 output end. Before going into any details I have also given the information of our loop here just to show how everything are working. So first we are starting from 1 
and then when the value of j is 1 it starts from 1 and it picks till third position that is length of 3 and it outputs and then it goes to fourth position that is d so 4 j becomes 4 4 to length of 3 d e f is extracted and in the next loop what it does is the j becomes 7 so it takes starts from g and it goes till i that is length of 3 it happens the same thing till it comes to n where the length is 28 and goes to 29 30 that is length of 3 and it, it extracts nmh what i wanted to say here is the j is increased by 3 every time and we have a 3 here so we are extracting piece by piece by using do loop and doing an output here i want you to note one important thing in here that is 1 to length a by length a by 10 is more general way to do, to do this because it can handle any other scenario even if your length is 2000 and you want 10 variables with 200 length and i also want you to focus once again on the results which we have got here if you see that we are creating a new variable words and we have 10 observations the next step is simply to transpose the data now let us look into our code furthermore so we have result like this and we wanted to transpose this data and this is very simple we just need to say proc transpose data equal to data set name and we can also give the prefix equal to var and this will convert everything as var1 var2 till var10 and out equal to the data set we want and we also are dropping a column which is underscore name underscore and also we need to mention the column which we want to transpose in the var statement this transposes the data from long to wide like we want by creating 10 variables with equal length now it's time to conclude our topic by learning the concepts of do loop sub str function and proc transpose we were able to create 10 variables with equal length from a single variable which has longer length that's all for this topic if you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you